Hi, I'm Stephen Ham from Archery Supplies. Today we're going to look at the Top Point Top X Stabilizers. Now I've been actually using these. Um, they're very affordable, about $110 for a complete set, which is incredibly cheap. Now I chose these because they were green and they match my bow. So there's two versions, one with the weights and one without these dampeners and one with the dampeners. The ones with the dampeners are about $20 more expensive for the set. Now I'm doing this video to say, well I've physically been using these stabilizers and the little adapter came out. So I want to show you what I'm going to do. Now you'll see I've been trying to fix it with hot melt glue. Um, and I use, I've been using the Bonin Cool Flex. Um, and clearly that has not been working. So I want to show you my next thing that I'm going to do. Because I think this problem where they come out of the adapters is a relatively common thing for stabilizers. And some people say no it is. And, but look, I'm going to show you how I fix it. Hopefully I fix it. So let's just have a look at the problem. I'm going to put Marla down. She's probably going to go and attack some people. Because that's what poodles do. So the first thing is I'm shooting um, and I use this for the national indoors. Um, so I'm shooting and the stabilizer basically falls out as I'm shooting. So you're gonna say, well, it's a cheap stabilizer. Well, this is the same as a carbon arrow with an insert. Basically you glue that into this adapter here. So I'm gonna show you what I do to fix the problem. Now with inserts, they come out just, as, just the same as, um, this stabilizer bushing they're, they're glued in and that's one reason why I don't glue inserts in for people because if they come out then people go you owe me an insert you owe me postage for that insert and postage is ten dollars and an insert's a dollar and I'm like well guess what I just won't glue them in glue them in yourself um, because inserts do come out so the first thing is if this is coming out this is smooth carbon and I'll just show you what it looks like inside um, this is smooth carbon, this is an aluminium bushing, this is pretty standard for stabilizers. So now if you're having problem with inserts, now my thing is, first off try, dr before you apply the glue, just try putting it back in. You can see this is a bit hard. So if I was to use an insert glue, which is what I'm going to use, I wouldn't be able to get it in uh, because there's too much build up of stuff here so the first thing is I'm gonna to have to clean this up here so I can get this on smoothly at the moment I can't get it on all the way I need to get onto there now when I apply heat this goes on easy right so when I apply heat to this heat to this a little bit it just goes on easy but it's been coming out it's come out twice so far so I'm gonna try this time with max impact there's a whole bunch of different glues on the market go tough boning's got the same sort of stuff i'm going to apply this or a lock type um so i'm going to apply this but the first thing is i'm going to clean up this and it goes on smoothly and the way i'm going to do that is i'm just going to hit it on the um i've got a grinder so i'm going to grind around here um now if it's still coming out just roughen up this surface here a bit so i'm going to I'm going, to, I'm going to grind this, throw my poodle inside, um, so my poodles are, um, then we're going to yeah, grind this, make it a bit rough, show you that it fits and then glue it and, then ho and show you it working. Now just before I do that, I've just taken off this stabilizer to get this apart because I just want this rod. Now I applied my stabilizers before the competition, before the indoor nationals were coming loose as I was shooting. This is just a bit of um, plumber's tape on the thread. That, that stopped my stabilizers coming loose. Like I had no issues with stabilizers coming loose. You just apply some to the thread. It just thickens up the thread a bit and stops the vibration coming through and stops it coming loose. Nothing worse than trying to concentrate on shooting and your stabilizers are coming loose. So that you're like, oh, I've got to tighten up. What's that noise? Just apply some of that little thread stuff. It's not a glue, it's a tape. Um, Loctite also, if you apply a bit of Loctite, there's a Loctite for threads, which you can apply, but if you apply too much, then it's gonna be stuck. So I prefer plumber's tape. Um, so let's get back to it. Okay, so okay, so I've hit this with a grinder. I'm gonna try and zoom up to it. You can see I've made lots of little, little marks with the it's just a spinning disc that you sharpen knives on I've just 
basically been hitting it over that and you can see I've made little dings in it. Now I applied this to it and you can see now it goes on quite smoothly. Um, so to me that's not going to have any problem when I apply the glue. There's nothing worse than when you're inserting points or inserts into an arrow and you go to stick the insert on it goes on that far and it's like oh I'm buggered. Um, it didn't go in all the way and that's a real life problem and when you're doing it for a person it's let's say it's a 20 30 dollar arrow and the insert only goes in halfway you're like oh i've just done 30 dollars like i can't get it in so it's always worth checking to make sure it can go in easy before you insert points or inserts into an arrow because if it gets stuck halfway you're bugging especially if you're then applying super glue or an insert to it and it gets stuck halfway yeah you can try heating it up and often you'll break it so let's apply the glue really like um, this type of glue it's simple easy to use um, it's not it's fast setting but not too fast setting if that makes sort of sense like it will be setting like two or three minutes but it's not instant like when you apply super glue like a vein glue like the gold tip um, glue basically as soon as it gets kind of contact it starts setting so there's the black glue i kind of just get it all over it i don't want when i say i don't want too much it's a tight fitting i don't want too much though when it comes over but i want it to be all over so i've just applied it just there now a bottle of this stuff this is what you use for your inserts um now could have I applied the hot melt with a rougher finish? Look, probably, and if you didn't have the glue, it's worth, definitely worth trying. You can see now I'm just getting it, there's some bits there where it didn't adhere to. And with this glue, you can see it's nice now, nice and smooth. Um, I would just want to make sure that glue's all over the rough bits. And there it is, it's all. Now you can see I've got a ridge of the glue. Now one thing, when you apply insert glue or when you're doing something like this, Generally there'll be some force from the air trying to push this insert back out. Um, so it's worth holding it or when I build inserts I push the thing downwards. Um, so the weight of the arrow hopefully holds that in. Now it's starting to, you can feel it's starting to bond. That's been, I don't know how many seconds I've been talking for, but it's starting to bond already. Now before this fully bonds I want to get that black glue away from the edge. Now it would be better to have like toilet paper or some sort of paper there. Um, I'm just using some paper to get rid of it. And that's... Now with everything, like, you know, if you brought a $300 stabilizer and that came out, you might go, well, that's not good enough. Um, like these things are cheap, so... And it may come out of the $300 stabilizer. Um, same as an insert may come out. So, anyway, I'm pretty happy with that. So, and with that, it's not moving now. So, I can literally screw this back onto my bow and shoot it. And hopefully, it won't come out. So, let's shoot a few shots and make sure it won't come out. Okay, so I left that set for about five minutes. Because even though it was like finger dry, when I applied the tension to the stabilizer, it did move. So it's been about maybe four minutes. So it hasn't been a long time, um, but it feels it feels solid. Now I'm not applying a lot of tension there to the V bar, um, but it's it feels solid to me. So let's just take a shot and hope my poodle's not standing at my feet while I shoot this on the stabilizer's hitter in the head because uh, that wouldn't be a good thing for a little dog so <laughs> true story let's, uh, let's just take a shot and see if they fall apart well they're still there <laughs> you never know so anyway I'll fire one more shot the first shot is always like, question, was it going to fall apart? 
Now, when I fixed it before with hot melt, they literally stayed for two weeks and without a problem. So I was a bit worried of the nationals that would fall apart. I was like, I did bring the instant glue with me. So, and I figured I could have shot without this extender anyway. So that's one more. So for me, I'm, I, I'm comfortable with that. So that's my review of the Top, top X stabilizers, um, fixing them up. Now overall, I've been shooting these stabilizers for about three weeks. I was shooting the Wiwis stabilizers before that. They were about five, six hundred dollars worth of stabilizers. These are about 130. Overall, I cannot tell any difference. They did come, there was little bits coming loose, but they were coming like through the the weights were coming loose, but they used to come loose on my wireless as well. When I applied that thread tape to the little, some of the little joints, that that basically fixed it. So I've applied thread tape to there, one of those and one of the weights. So three, three threads I applied thread tape to, and basically they haven't been coming loose. Um, so overall, for the price point, I think they're good for recurve compound. I think they're going to, if you apply too much weight to them for a compound, I think they'll, they will be a little bit soft. And when I say too much, probably about 12 ounces. I don't know how they cope with more than that. But for lightweight, for anyone except for the Elite Arches, I think they're okay. So that's the Toe Point Top, top X Stabilizers. Um, I think they look good. All the different colours they come in: purple, red, green, orange, silver. All the colours you can think of. I think they look pretty good. Teal. Um, yeah, I think they look pretty good, and they're really priced at that price point for the, for the beginner. Um, anyway, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. I hope that's helped you if your stabilisers do come apart about how to fix them, um, because it really is not a big. It's not a big thing. Now, if you don't have a grinder, you can just use a file or sandpaper just to roughen that up. Just roughen up the edge, roughen up the surface to get the adhesion to work. So, hope that's been helpful. Thanks, and the more you shoot, the better you'll shoot. Thanks, bye.